Well, the COMPASS trial uh, tested two rivaroxaban-based regimens. One was the combination of rivaroxaban 2.5 milligrams twice daily and aspirin 100 milligrams daily. The second arm was rivaroxaban 5 milligrams twice daily. And the third arm, the control arm, was aspirin 100 milligrams once daily. The winning arm in COMPASS was the comparison between the combination and aspirin. The results of this comparison were as follows. For the primary outcome, the combination reduced the risk of cardiovascular death, stroke or myocardial infarction by 24%. The effect was consistent on the components of the primary outcome and there was also a reduction in mortality, an 18% reduction in all-cause death. This was accompanied by an increase in bleeding. The hazard ratio was 1.7, but importantly, there was no significant increase in fatal bleeding, in non-fatal intracranial bleeding, or in non-fatal other critical organ bleeding. In other words, the most severe types of bleeds were not increased. When we look at the net benefit, and by net benefit I mean the primary outcome as well as the most severe bleeding outcomes, if we combine them there was a clear net benefit of the combination compared with aspirin. Currently in the world, there are approximately 300 million people with stable cardiovascular disease. They're often treated with lipid lowering, blood pressure lowering, ACE inhibitors, and of course smoking cessation. In the COMPASS trial, the population was already well treated and the benefits of the combination of rivaroxaban and aspirin compared with aspirin alone were on top of proven secondary prevention. Given these results, I believe that the combination therapy will become the standard of care for long-term cardiovascular prevention in patients with established coronary or peripheral artery disease.